I built these cars to enjoy. I'm not gonna baby them around. Um, that's just kind of how I roll. What is that? Hang on, you guys can't see me. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back. We're actually starting off today's video in the new humble abode. We're actually renting out this house with a few of our buddies. Um, check it out. Just a quick little tour. We got a couch. We got to upgrade the couches still. Our dinner table with our little, currently a lawn chair. We Yes, we have a lawn chair and a couple like, it's a work in progress. Our TV is currently on the floor. It's a huge TV, but it's currently on the floor. We want it up here. There's a fireplace behind it, but all in due time. Nice floors, but uh, today, guys, today's plan. I'm not really too sure yet, but oh my god. At first, I thought like the garage was on fire. But it's just, it's just the dryer vent. But look who is in the garage, by the way. Actually, I do know the first plan for today. Actually, I gotta get my shoes on. Man, I gotta say, it is, it has been so cold the past couple days. So cold. Here we are. This is a little, little change of scenery, right? <laughs> Now with no idle valve, she's uh, this car isn't too excited about starting up in these super cold temperatures, but let's see how she's let's see how she's feeling today. time boys heck of time so cold that we're going for a drive in the 2J man kind of show you guys what it's like we're gonna give it some throttle give it some gas it will not hook I know it's not gonna hook so uh, we'll try and have some fun um, gotta get my speedo working the CD09 transmission we got actually does not have a mechanical speed sensor like you know uh, 240 or a Z32 so that's why we need to get like a Dakota digital box but you know It'll come. One thing we have to upgrade on this car pretty soon, and if you guys have any uh, suggestions or recommendations on what to upgrade to, I have a couple ideas. Coil packs. We're gonna need to upgrade coil packs in this thing pretty soon, just because we actually lose it, uh, we lose spark uh, at higher gears on full boost. So we'll have to start looking into other options as far as coil packs go. some sort of a boost cut as well it's kind of hard for me to watch the gauge because the car is so squirrely because it 
it's so cold, you know, it's so cold out today. It's about 16, 15, 16 degrees today. Makes it a little bit tricky. Once the tires get warm though, I think we should be able to hook a little bit better. Try and peek at boost here while I'm driving. the gauge is kind of getting into that 25 26 zone so we'll just keep an eye out for it these are comps I mean they hook pretty well they just need to be you know they got to be warm Cycle on the boost control a little bit. 
it's so tricky because this surface is like it's grippy and then you hit a salt patch and then it's not grippy and then you hit like a little bit of a moist spot and it's not grip you know so gotta be mindful boys this is kind of how I like relieve my stress and have fun like I, I built these cars to enjoy I'm not gonna baby them around um, that's just kind of how I roll <laughs> never do when there's traffic around that's rule number one never put anyone else in danger obviously wear your seatbelt know your car this I mean you kind of learn your car this way temps are incredible car staying at 180 so we're doing we're doing good I really want to get like a, a set of tires on here that aren't super super grippy and then we can have some some more fun that's less sketchy if that even makes sense skid pad man and I really we had to figure out because it did that fuel cut thing again so like the pickup for the fuel is on the driver's side whenever you make a left all the fuel goes that way and loses from the pickup and actually for those of you that are saying maybe my pickup sock isn't long enough it actually is it is because it's from the pump it goes from it goes to a fuel line down to the pickup sock so the pickup sock is about eight inches away from the pump itself but it's still there's no baffling like there is in an s chassis in a z there's no, there's no baffling in a z which i don't understand but it is what it is so we'll have to we'll have to figure that out get up this snowy icy driveway with my arcoms brother all right go go we're getting there we've made it we have made it hell yeah I love this thing man well hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see more driving content obviously you guys can see we have a couple little tweaks to work with it's just this cold weather makes things a little bit tricky, especially the air intake temps are super, super low. Uh, so we have to work on our over boosting. We have to work on our fuel pickup sock. My driving skills, apparently. <laughs> but uh, yeah, boys, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. We got lucky there in that situation, thank God. We're back home at the new crib. If you guys are new and haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. A lot of stuff to come a lot more driving content i cannot wait till it's car season we can go to the track have a lot of fun with buddies car meets get reactions have actually be able to put power down in the ground it's gonna be a good year boys so uh boys and girls of course <laughs> toss a like toss a comment share this with your friends subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace